and welcome to my video from MASH's 2012 Design Star Contest. My name is Bill Schaefer. I'm a member of the American Institute of Floral Designers, the American Academy of Floriculture, and the Professional Floral Communicators International. Today, I'm here to talk about the awesome blossom, Anthurium. But, before we get started, let me bring in an old friend. Yep, a traditional tropical floral arrangement, something you've seen time and time again. Something, well, you know what, let's get that out of here, because that's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is a parallel design. Well, a parallel design has many, many uses in the floral industry. We have options for floral entry pieces, for podium designs in corporate affairs and weddings. They can be used in so many applications. But I want to do something basic and simple with this design today. You know, we're creating here with this anthurium as our focal flower a wonderful rhythmic pattern. Think of sheet music and how it plays across the page. It's kind of what we're doing here with the anthurium today. This wonderful play just going up and down across your eyesight. One of the things that we're going to be doing today is showing you a couple of the ways that we've done it, such as the base of this is a raquette which we have used adhesive spray glue with red tea leaves to cover it to give us our basing. Now, you might wonder what I'm about to do here. Yes, you are not going blind. These are carnations. Something not normally seen with a traditional anthurium arrangement, but it gives you an opportunity to add in a great texture to the design while adding in a lower costing flower to give you a better price point, allowing your customers a better opportunity to buy these amazing flowers from you. And plus, other shops might not be doing it. Now one of the advantages of some of the tropical flowers that are on the market, especially the anthurium, is its longevity. Now the best story I can tell about longevity is that this year during the Philadelphia Flower Show, where I'm a major exhibitor, I used over 1,000 stems. And over the 10 day life period of the Philadelphia Flower Show, I only lost about three dozen. Of course we took proper care and handling of them, but Man, three dozen stems. What a great flower. What you see I'm doing here is creating these amazingly straight lines, or at least as straight as the flower will allow me to go. By doing that, I'm creating this great negative space underneath the design itself. By creating this negative space, we're giving added perceived value to your customers. By giving that added value to your customers, it gives a greater sense of value for what they're buying. Now, this year, I had the opportunity to speak at AIFD's National Symposium about trends within the floral industry. And one of the hottest trends in the industry is color blocking or color grouping. Now, obviously, what you see we're doing here is the primary color red has become our focus within this design. We're going from rich burgundies up through the rich true reds to give a really strong, impactful look for your customer. Just a great way to sell the product with a really awesome, fun design. How simple and easy that was. You know, I've been asked to tell why I want to be Mayesh's 2012 design star. Well, it's simple. Mayesh is a great company who cares about educating its designers so that they can educate their consumers. And, well, as an educator myself, it's exactly what I believe in. So what better fit than that? They also asked me to find out in myself, why should I be Mayesh's design star for 2012? Well, 2012 is going to be a banner year. I'm a featured speaker at this upcoming special event in Tampa. Again, in March, I'll have a major exhibit at the Philadelphia International Flower Show. And just this week, found out that I've been invited to be a major exhibitor at the Singapore Garden Festival. Wow, I can't think of a better way to show off the awesome blossoms and present them around the country and even around the world than this upcoming year, 2012. So, thank you for watching my video, and when you get the opportunity, vote. My name is Bill Schaefer. Thanks again.